All right, joining me at this time is an indie pro wrestler out of Mississippi. Her name is Diana Taylor, and she's joining me right now. Hello, Diana. Hey. How are you? Fine, how are you? I'm good. I want to take this time and thank you for joining me this evening on a few days' notice. I truly appreciate it. I'm more than happy to do it. And it makes me even happy to have you on the show this evening, considering that you are a, a Mississippi resident. Uh, I was yeah. I was born and raised in Mississippi. I was born in Tupelo, um, which is the also the birthplace of King of Rock and Roll, Elvis Presley. And any time I can get to get a local person uh on the show that's a huge plus for me and again i'm happy to have you on um that being said i want to start off this interview by asking you like how do you got started in becoming a wrestler i started about two years ago and i started going to shows and it just really interested me and I think the week before I actually started training to wrestle, I was going to get bars off of my teeth where I broke my jaw. And then the weekend, I training. Wow, that's interesting. You, you mentioned about your jaw being hurt. Was this before you started training? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, that was that must have been quite the circumstances. I guess maybe that jaw, uh, that that injury, I should say, was probably a sign of things of what you're about to go through, because we all know how tough wrestling can be. Uh, whether it's male or female. Um, how did you, um, or better yet, do you remember your first ever wrestling match or wrestling appearance for that matter that you had performing in front of the audience? And if so, who is your opponent or opponents and what company did you work for? My first match was with Auburn Thunder about two years ago, and it was at SPWA in Raymer, Tennessee. How was you feeling leading up to the match, and uh, how did you feel after the match? Were there any signs of butterflies? You know, was there, were you nervous going in? And, I mean, how did you feel, you know, entering the match, and how do you feel afterwards? And in the match, I was nervous. And it was one of those things where I second-guessed myself and wondered if I could actually do this. Because I had only been training for maybe four or five months before I was put into my first match. But afterwards, I had felt really good about it, and there were some, there was no bad criticism some constructive criticism from the other wrestlers and all around good comments about the match. That definitely had to be very encouraging um, that you get the input from your peers that you're going to be doing shows with. And, you know, you've been doing this for two years now. Uh, that being said, what do you consider the biggest improvement do you see, you know, since you started wrestling and to compare it to where you are now? What do you consider the biggest improvement you, you, you've seen in your wrestling? The biggest improvement would have to be my performance in front of an audience because now I can work myself to what the crowd wants and get the reaction I want out of them. 
So how do you how do you feel, you know, working for SPWA? Um and you know, how how do you feel about working there and just the environment, the company, the fan base? Like how does it feel working for SPWA? SPWA is a fantastic company. I started there and I'm still there now. And the fans are a fantastic group themselves. The locker room's fantastic. There's no drama with anybody. It's everybody's friends. Basically, they pretty much seen you, you know, from the beginning and and witness your journey firsthand. And uh, that has to be good, you know, because we all know that wrestling will, will pretty much always be a male-dominant sport. But at least there's women out there, whether it's the indies or, the, you know, those that's in the pros uh, from certain companies show that women can, can do just as good as the males do, if not even better. And, you know... You're just getting started. You're two years in, and it appears that you're going the right direction. So I give you credit for that, and and I hope you keep it up because you you sound like someone that's very passionate about it, and uh, you have you you have quite a a bright future in your hands. Yeah, and still to this day, I still get in the ring and train more even though that I already wrestle for the company I still get in there and train and help others move forward you know, and I've worked with other companies I've worked with like I work for another company that does custom women matches that's Ultimate Women's Wrestling, and I've learned so much from the women there, and I've brought it back with me to SPWA. You know that's that's great to hear, especially you being a uh, you still being new and all. You know you're helping train your fellow peers, and it just shows that not only you want to see yourself succeed but you want to see others succeed as well and if only there was more of that unity in wrestling rather than just uh, I just want the best match and to get the cash and just call it a day it just shows that people like yourself uh, just want to see you know people succeed as well as far as you succeed so um, hopefully people will take that for an account and just look at it as, you know, wrestling roster is is it's not just individuals, it's a collective front. And in order to succeed, everybody has to be on the same page. Everybody has to just uh just put the work in and, and just do their part. And as long as as long yeah, as Yeah, and it's oh. And it's not just about us making ourselves look good. It's about us making our opponents look good. Because you can't just have a one-sided match and try to get yourself over. You have to be able to get the whole match over. I totally agree. I absolutely agree. So you mentioned a little bit earlier that you are part of Ultimate Women's Wrestling, and that's yes. a new company that is um, built by Jason, the Brain, and Little Bit, and they had their first custom shoot recently. And I ha and it's funny because I just interviewed Little Bit just last week on the show. She talked about it and how much fun that she and the, and the ladies had. And you being a part of that first custom shoot, how did you feel being part of UWW's first custom shoot? 
just like my first match, I was nervous going in there because some of these women I had never met before and I had matches with most women I've never met before. I had a match with a little bit, which went fantastic. I've worked with Nikki Lane and CJ Lane, and I've learned a lot from them. And most of what I learned there, I brought back with me to teach to the other girls at SPWA. But after I've gotten those first couple matches done at UWW, I had come out of my shell and felt so much better, and we just had a good time. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, for UWW to eventually have these videos available as downloads, or purchase downloads for that matter, uh, for the time being. Uh, if you want to learn more from the company, check them out at Ultimate Women's Wrestling on Facebook. And uh, they have their next shoot coming up in November. And I believe you'll be one of the plenty of talent that will be participating in uh, next uh, in November coming up. And I hear that the legendary Leilani Kai will be there as well. And uh, Cowgirl Kissy from Texas, Nikki Lane will be there a little bit, obviously, uh, just to name a few. So of all the ladies and men that are confirmed to be a part of the second shoot, and just to give some fans some ideas or suggestions, Diana, who of all the ladies that are scheduled to appear would you like to see yourself go up against in November 9th? Myself, if I were to be able to pick somebody I could work at the next taping, I would pick a little bit because she is an all-around good wrestler. We had a great match the last time. And when I worked her in Union City for UCW, we had a great match then. Uh, we can be competitive together and have a phenomenal match. Well, uh, l let's let the gauntlet has been laid out there. Um, Diana and Little Bit, you know, y'all two appear to have some history. And in order for that history to continue, it's up to you the fans out there to book this match uh, again go to ultimate women's wrestling on facebook and uh, make this match a reality let's continue that rivalry between diana and little bit and of course you got cowgirl kissy leilani kai nikki lane uh, arkansas terrier uh, among other male talent and uh, book a match you can ask a little bit questions about how to book a match, how the script works, and uh, things like that. And uh, they had over 25 matches plus on the first taping. That's very good considering that's a, a brand new company. But they always strive to do more. So make that happen. Uh, you got an entire month. To get those book and uh, to get those matches and scripts into a little bit, so let's make that happen. So Diana, in addition to uh, SPWA and UWW, do you have any upcoming events that you would like to promote? Um, as of this moment, I think those are the only two that I've got so far. But I am open for bookings, and I'm willing to travel. So hopefully I can get some more in. All right, so for the time being, SPWA, check her out. And uh, again, get those matches in for UWW. Who do you consider as an influence in your wrestling career? It could be anyone from the indies. It could be anyone from the pros in particular. Like, who do you consider 
uh, some of your influences, Diana? Somebody that influenced me, I think, would have to be the man who trained me. He showed me how I needed to work a match, and that's Michael Gilbert. And he he was trained by Kevin White. So he had, what he had shown me has really progressed me farther into my career. And he must be very proud of you considering how far you come as a wrestler. You talk about the, the improvements and the confidence you have performing in front of an audience. Regardless if it's an indie show or a pro wrestling show, you know, you're going to have the fans that cheer for you. You're going to have the fans of quote-unquote marks. They're going to boo. Uh, but it's just a matter of you going out there, perform your character, and, and entertain the audience. And once you do that, then uh, everything else falls into place, if you will. Um, so, Diana, why don't you go ahead and uh, promote your social media links, uh, Facebook and Twitter, or any other links people need to know? You can find me on Facebook by just looking up Diana Taylor. And my Twitter account is at the Diana Taylor. And just follow me. Add me as a friend. I'd be more than happy to have more fans. Well, consider me a fan by default, not just because you're a, a wrestler, but you're a fellow Mississippian. So I'm just putting it out there. Got to support the, the, the locals, the fellow state folks out there. And uh, I want to thank you, Diana, again for joining me this evening on a few days notice. And uh, I wish you continued success. And uh, not only for SPWA, but for UWW as well. And uh, th again, thank you for your time. And uh, you enjoy yourself. You have a great weekend. Stay warm in this, in this cold autumn weather that has pretty much already approached. Thank you. I was more than happy to do this. And uh, you have a good night, Diana. You too. All right, bye-bye. That was Diana Taylor.